Hello there. What is going on, everybody? Today, I want to talk to you about a beloved game, Imperial Assault. Uh, it's actually a game that has inspired a lot of questions. A lot of people have been asking me, did they make any news about Imperial Assault? Are we getting any more Imperial Assault? What's next for Imperial Assault? And uh, rather than answering everybody individually, I just wanted to make it a video to talk about uh, what was said about Imperial Assault and that basically they are now calling it a complete game. Uh, if you are new here to the channel, I invite you to subscribe. We are doing a big giveaway for a $70 Amazon gift card for a Shadow Collective core set. Um, if you're interested in that, all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. Uh, plus, you know, there's links in the video description below. I'd love to have you join our Discord. Uh, head over to crabock.com or follow me on social media or any of that stuff. Or if you're interested in supporting the channel on Patreon, there's also links all down below the video. So let's talk about Imperial Assault a little bit. Massive game, tons of expansions. We've got we've got expansions coming out to Wazoo over here. Lots of and lots of individual character expansions. Um, I talked a little bit about Imperial Assault at Star Wars Celebration because there was a lot of it on display, which is pretty cool that they are still actively promoting uh, this game and promoting its sales and the fact that there is still plenty of it for sale. People can, are still getting into Imperial Assault. People are still buying Imperial Assault. Um, and, and it kind of goes back to 2020, early 2020 at the uh, Gamma Trade Show, there was an interview um, with Steve Horvath, who was Asmodee North America president, and they was talking about the future of a lot of different games, and he was very optimistic, and they talked about Imperial Assault, saying uh, at the time uh, he had said that Imperial Assault's story was not complete. Now, that was kind of vague, but it certainly left the door open for more Imperial Assault, although it certainly was... Uh, you know, kind of, uh, you know, couched in the, uh, you know, framed in a way that that it was going to be years until we saw more Imperial Assault. So it wasn't anytime soon. So don't don't plan on anything more for Imperial Assault anytime soon. Uh, but you know, he was basically saying that we're not done. Like this game is, and, and he also clarified that Imperial Assault is still being printed. They still make new core sets all the time. People are still buying new core sets all the time. And for what it's worth, I've said this many times: the Imperial Assault core set is one of the best values in gaming you will ever get. You should absolutely, if you're if you're on the fence about Imperial Assault, I will still absolutely recommend it. It's just a tremendously awesome game, and it really scratches that itch of, uh, of having that campaign that you can play at home with your family. Plays five very easily, which is really cool to play five players, and not that many games play five, you know? And that's cool. But but you also have the skirmish mode. You also have basically the, the battle mode. So it's like two games in one. Tons of characters. Tons of... And, and granted, not all of the minis come in here. There's a lot of minis in here. But there's also cardboard tokens that you can use in place of minis. So you're getting... The, the amount of gameplay that you're getting in, the, in here is can consume you for more than you play just about any other board game. Uh, you can just keep running it over and over again, run as different characters. So maybe maybe you play Rebels, and then maybe next maybe you finish a campaign in here, which, which will take you a long time. Um, and then if you, even if you do, then you go back, maybe you play Empire this time, and whoever was the Imperial player, then they get to play Rebels, and so on and so forth. Very, very cool stuff. And uh, But I do, I do, do want to talk about, you know, people wondering about, like, is the game... Uh, you know, is it getting more expansions or whatever? So um, at the uh, Star Wars Celebration panel, they did ask, uh, there was questions about what's next for Imperial Assault. Uh, I certainly expected that they were going to talk about Imperial Assault with like, with, like a surprise announcement. Uh, however, they're calling it a complete game. And uh, that usually means that they do not have anything else kind of planned or in anything else in development. Usually a complete game is something that, like a board game, like, oh, Ticket to Ride Europe behind me, which is a complete game. There's no, you know, there's no Ticket to Ride Europe expansion, right? Like, they make new versions of Ticket to Ride or whatever, but, but once a game is not going to get any more expansions, usually they call it a complete game. That doesn't mean they couldn't potentially do a new edition, like Ticket to Ride has new additions all the time, right? Most board games are self-contained. You know, not that many board games get expansions. Uh, although you do see a lot of board games that do get expansions, the vast majority don't. The vast majority of board games are self-contained, complete games. Now, it's harder to make that adjustment, I think, with the in the community's eyes, because in a game like Imperial Assault, that has so much expansion. You know, it was modeled after Descent, which another amazing game. Uh, I first started playing Descent, I believe it was second edition for Descent, and uh, loved it. 
and I was overjoyed when I saw Imperial Assault was kind of modeled directly after Descent. Uh, really fun game. Uh, and, and there's uh, been so many expansions. There's the small box expansions, there's the big box expansions like Hoth, which is giving you a lot more. And then there's all the little blister packs, which are adding additional characters and scenarios. And then, of course, they have the different maps and then the play mats. And then there's the, also an app for Imperial Assault. So if all of the content they have for this game wasn't enough, there's also a an app that has its own campaign that you can play and you don't have to have an Imperial player. So now it's, it's potentially solo play or full co-op. So you can do all of those things with Imperial Assault, and I think that that's really cool. And I think that that kind of lends itself to why they're now calling it a complete game, and uh, and why there won't be any more expansions for it right now. Well, there, that's also there's also a lot of other reasons that uh, you know that Asmodee doesn't publicly get into as to why you know, and it has to, something to do with board game licensing. And I'm not going to get into that too much because I frankly don't know all the details, and I don't want to give out wrong information. But what I can tell you is this game has a ton of content. And even though there's not going to be any more expansions for Imperial Assault, at least as of right now, I'm going to couch everything with as of right now because of the fact that things change. Things can always change someday. Uh, you know, things changed between January 2020 and now. Things can change in the future. You know, we had a global pandemic in between there. That obviously had you know, a lot of impact on a lot of things related to, you know, to gaming and, and, and lots of and lots of other industries as well. Uh, we had, you know, companies changes, uh, company changes over. We had, you know, a, a whole new, you know, Asmodee got sold to a, you know, a different, uh, you know, the Embracer Group. And then Embracer Group is now, you know, has a much bigger uh, interest in gaming, which is really cool. So like a lot of exciting things happened, but also just a lot of changes in general. And who knows what other changes will happen. So just because they're saying it's a complete game doesn't mean they won't ever come back to Imperial Assault at some day. But I don't want to get your hopes up because they, that usually isn't what happens. What usually ends up happening is, you know, people will still buy this game and new people will buy it. New people will start buying expansions. And and a lot of times people are going to not play through everything. Like if, if you, let me know in the comments if, you, if you're an Imperial Assault player. Have you played 100% of the campaigns? Because I, I haven't. I played through two campaigns of Imperial Assault. And, and and so, like, I have a lot that I still haven't even gotten to. And that's largely because I have so many board games. I ended up, like, if you if you only have, like, if you're a one or two board game owner, and, like, this is one of your one of your two or three board games or something like that, then maybe you've played through it multiple times. But I bet you there's still characters that you haven't run. Uh, you know, in different, you know, like, I haven't run, you know, the Hoth characters in the Bespin Gambit, um, you know, for example. You know, like, I, I bet you there's combinations that you haven't run yet. So, like, there's there's so much game. I think there's enough game in here that you could fill up, uh, like, almost an entire lifetime with just playing the different, com uh, different, the different variations. And then on top of all of the campaign stuff, you also have this skirmish mode, which... Uh, which I feel like is less of a selling point for Imperial Assault because you do have Star Wars Legion, but it's still a selling point for Imperial Assault because you're getting two games in one. And that's really cool. Every Everything that you buy for Imperial Assault gives you the campaign stuff and the PvP skirmish stuff. And that's really, really cool. Um, where the support kind of ended with Imperial Assault was with that, that PvP skirmish organized play stuff. So they kind of you know, a few years ago, they kind of stopped making, like, promos and, and tournament rewards and holding worlds for Imperial Assault's, uh, you know, competitive skirmish mode. And that sort of coincided with the arrival of Star Wars Legion, which kind of scratched that competitive tournament itch a little bit better. So uh, that seems reasonable. But Imperial Assault still uh, had this great niche of being that campaign game, that that kind of a RPG campaign game that was like, it was like the cross between, uh, between Legion and... And the Star Wars RPG, whether you play like Edge of the Empire or Age of Rebellion or which whatever flavor of the Star Wars RPG you play, uh, and it kind of it kind of it was where those two worlds met and gave you a really cool way of kind of meeting up once a week, you know, running a mission, uh, maybe against the Imperial player. Everybody gets some rewards, and maybe you're going to spend your credits and then buy a new rifle and and see how well you can do next time. And that's just a really cool feeling. And nothing about that has changed. Like, you can still do all of those things. Uh, so, again, even if you are looking to get into a new game and you're, you're kind of on the fence about Imperial Assault, I still recommend it. Um, it doesn't require the app, right? There is an app, and so sometimes people won wonder about apps if the app goes unsupported or something like that. It does not require an app. It does have app support if you want to run against the app. You can. But that app is optional. And so even if, you know, 
you, you lose power or something like that. And you know, you, you wanted to like, you know, maybe like there's a big, I live in Florida. So like losing power during hurricanes is something we have to think about. And that's one thing I love about board games. But like, even if you lose power, you know, for like a, a long weekend or whatever, you still have a game you can play, you know, and which is really cool. You, you know, so it's again, great game for the whole family. Uh, not going to be seeing any new expansions, but that doesn't mean that the game is dead, right? It doesn't mean that at all. Like, so it, it just, now, granted, some people just they pe some people just want more expansions, and I understand that. There's definitely, I think, some some characters and some things that um, that would have been really nice to get into Imperial Assault, but I don't think we're going to be getting those. And uh, of course, there's always homebrew, uh, and I, I'm, I'm sure somebody on Board Game Geek has already come up with stuff. You know, I, I'm sure I'm sure it's there. Uh, so there's always that as an option. Uh, but there's just so much content for Imperial Assault right now. It's really exciting to uh, to play through. If you get, especially if you get a group that's going to meet once a week or something like that, and just and just run through a whole campaign. Uh, there's there's a ton of fun, and uh, and I and I keep, I always talk to people who who uh, who play Imperial Assault. I just talked to at Star Wars Celebration. I just talked to Mark Thompson, who does the audiobook narration for most of the Star Wars books. If you guys do listen to Audible or listen to any of the Star Wars audiobooks, uh, there's a pretty, pretty good chance you're familiar with who Mark Thompson is. He's like one of the most amazing narrators in the world. He, he has one of the greatest voices, and he can do every voice in Star Wars perfectly. He's, he's amazing. Uh, and so I, I bumped into him, and I was talking to him a little bit about it, and he just he was told, told me that he is into Imperial Assault, and, and, and he plays it with the family, they, and, they, and they, do, they play it with the app, and uh, he loves it that he... You know, you don't have to have somebody be the Imperial player when you use the app. And, you know, and, and so it's really cool just running into people all the time that are playing Imperial Assault. So, again, I think you should definitely check it out. Uh, it's, a, it's a great game if you're not familiar with it already. Uh, even though there's not new expansions coming out for it, there's a ton of expansions for it. And it's probably a good thing that there aren't new expansions coming out because... If you're new and you're getting into this, you know, you, you, at least you can see the end is in sight. And it's a long ways away. You know, you, you can easily spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars trying to get all of this stuff for Imperial Assault. So you can take your time. You know, it, 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 maybe this is going to be a slow burn for you if you're just getting into it. So um, that's just the update. You know, I, I know this was a long video because I, I, I kind of got to the point pretty early that they said it was on, that it was... Um, that it was basically uh, a complete game, but I wanted to elaborate a little bit and talk about why I don't think that that's too much of a deal breaker and why I will still recommend Imperial Assault. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. Uh, big thanks to my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing and help make this channel possible. I will talk to you later. May the force be with you and happy gaming, everybody. I'll talk to you later.